Astral Chain, like just about every Platinum action game, scores you at the end of every combat section. But this time around, the way you nab those S and S plus rankings is a bit different. So, if you find yourself drowning in a sea of Cs and want to start soaring with the S's, here are a few tips to help you out. First off, it's important to note what does and doesn't affect your ranking. Unlike other Platinum games, getting hit or even losing a life doesn't really make a huge difference in your overall ranking. Hell, I've lost a battery in a battle and still gotten the S+. That being said, not getting hit is still a huge benefit, as you'll get 5,000 extra points added to your overall score. But it's not the biggest factor. Along those same lines, while you've got a time bonus for beating a combat encounter quickly, it's not worth it if you're not getting any merits along with that time bonus. Those merits are the biggest factor in your overall score. These are obtainable by performing certain actions in combat. Many of these bonuses you'll just get by having a basic knowledge of Astral Chain's combat, but others require a much deeper understanding of how to play well. Sync attacks are especially important, as just getting the Sync Attacker merit gets you 2,000 points, and Sync Master rewards you an extra 1,000 on top of that. Once you've unlocked them in Chapter 2, Sync attacks are performed by pressing the left trigger when your character gives off a blue flash. You'll unlock a variety of Sync Attack triggers as you progress through the game, but to start, you'll always have a Sync Attack opportunity for every Legion at the end of your X Baton combo. Legion. So make sure to know what the second to last move of every combo looks like in order to be ready to use a Sync Attack on the next strike. Other ways to easily make sure you get as many bonuses at the end of a combat encounter as possible include making sure you utilize all your X Baton forms, Baton, Gun, and Gladius, for the full arsenal bonus, chaining up enemies for the chain bind bonus, chaining up multiple enemies at once for the multi chain bind bonus, hitting enemies from behind for the backstab bonus, stunning enemies, which can usually be done by using the gladius form, and not using any items for the item hoarder bonus. As your character progresses, getting S ranks actually becomes a little bit easier because you have more ways of getting merits. Some things to generally keep in mind. Try to use all of your legions in every combat encounter. Make use of legion skills regularly. Know what sync triggers you have upgraded for each legion. And finally, if you have them unlocked, always look to use perfect calls, which is when you call your legion right before you get hit. It's the best way to avoid taking damage while you're still locked in the animation of one of your combos. Beyond just helping you get S and S plus ranks, these tips will also just generally make you a better Astral Chain player. In any case, I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. If it was, drop a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching, and for more Astral Chain, make sure to make sure to check out our review. My name is Mitchell Saltzman. You can follow me on Twitter at JurassicRabbit, and I'll see you next time.